What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back in to another episode of Anno 1800 with, a, with the continuation of our disaster save. So the last episode, we got the main island over here of uh, Reek all fixed up, all stabilized, and it's all happy. So now we need to work on our smaller islands of Schoongraven, Dudam, and then probably jump over to Croissant. Okay, this is Croissant. We're going to come jump over here and take care of this. So, this and these these smaller islands aren't going to be too bad. They shouldn't take long. Uh, if we go in and we take a look at all of our stuff, uh, we actually are doing quite well here in terms of all of our productions. Uh, I don't see too many issues over here. Uh, one of the main issues, though, and I didn't pop up because it never pops up. Oh, here we go. Is uh, we are actually running a little low on oil. We did run out of oil right here, as you can see. Well, we have 134 in reserve. So we need to jump over and take a look and see where that oil is coming from. Looks like it's just coming from right here. So it's coming from power, 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 something. Hop over to the newer. What all other islands are taking oil from there? None. It's just, just that one. Okay. Good deal. So let's pop over there to Para. That's Pig. Costa. There's Para. Take a look at that in Schoongraven. So we're actually doing okay on that. Um, I believe the reason we were running low was because this island was also supplying oil to our main island and we were running out. Now, we are shy on workforce here, unfortunately, and it looks like it's because of fried plantains. Now, I really don't want to kind of dig into the new world too much right now, but I do want to make sure that we don't run out of these goods right here. So let's just real quick go ahead and fix this supply issue with all of our plantains and stuff. So there's that. Uh, we need more bananas and we need more fish oil. And Taka is confused as to how... Oh, he has three fried plantain condition. Okay. Fried plantain kitchens. Words are hard, okay. Let's have one of these. Okay, that's easy enough. But we do need some more bananas. Um. Oh, awkward. That's, that's awkward right there. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. He's got one, and he's got it turned off. So, that's a mood. Grab one more. Cool. Alright, so three and three. And then we just need another fish oil factory. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And we're done. So, that's all taken care of. Good deal. So now we uh, hopefully stop running out of these guys. Let's see. How much extra population room do I have? Should be fine once the, this right here catches up. We'll come back. We'll, we'll revisit this place in a bit. Let's see how it's doing. So that's all actually doing rather well. This island is not bad at all. Um, the oil will start coming in from over there. It might take it a few. Uh, where is that oil trade route at? Here we go. So he's over here. Oh, we do have another one. Going to La Croissant. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah, we do have another one. It's going to La Croissant. Okay, so uh, Croissant and Schoongraven. We do have two of them that need oil. And yes, we are massively underproducing oil for that. Never mind. We need a lot more oil. That's fine. That can be that can be arranged. So he's got some right there, and then got a bunch over here 
This island, the oil is really spread out on this island. It's really not the best. And he was trying to make it real nice and neat and keep it all like, it looks like kind of all interesting looking, but we're, okay, now, now we can't move anymore. And he's got three more there too. And we are shy on workforce, so I guess we're going to spend a, just a tiny amount of time right here in this region trying to get this fixed. Because part of the reason we're underproducing is because we don't have enough workforce. I need to get all this right here taken care of. So, detour into this region, I guess, is what we're doing here. We're just going to take a little detour here. I'm going to turn all of these off. We're not, we're not, we're not to that point yet. All right, how's that looking now that I have it producing adequately? Still way under. All right, now that we know that we're, where everything is needed, let's jump up here and see what's going on. Five. Holy mother of... Holy mother of... Holy mother of bad layouts. Okay. Well, since that little island down there is okay, let's just skip this northern... Let's skip this northern island for a moment, and let's come over here and deal with this, because this is a mess. I don't know what's going on over here. What's up, Trianon? So, we've got five. Count them. Five for some reason. We don't, we don't need that. We can most definitely clean this up. Another one go. There you are. Okay. can get one. That one over there is fine. This one's fine. That's fine. You could do with one right here. I can do with him right here. Take that one out. That'll lessen the load on it a little bit. Yeah, that that lessens it down a bit. Like we're also getting okay. So he also is trying to produce oil from over here at these mines. But they're all full. They're all full. Okay. We're doing pretty good, Trianon. Thank you for asking. We're uh, actually we're in the middle. We're recording some stuff for YouTube right now. Trying to trying to fix some stuff. So let me get this island squared away and working properly. Uh, okay, this island is a uh, wow. This island is a bit of a mess. Island is not good. Island is definitely not good. Ooh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, let's start somewhere, I guess. Sit here staring at it. I gotta get started somewhere. Um, okay. Lumberjacks. We need timber badly. Why do we need so much timber for? Because we're underproducing everything here, just about. Jeez. 
Those need it. Doesn't he have enough pigs, but he's got enough of that. He doesn't have enough of this. He does have a Chef Michelle, so that's good. Does at least have that to replace the, the goulash with the pig, so that's that's at least something. At least something. The one good thing is he is making enough for his scholars, so that's that's another good thing. Got enough for his scholars coming in, so that's good. Pop back down to Schoongraven real quick. Yeah, there is only one. Uh, one of these over here. Okay. All right. Well, let's get our oil situation taken care of first. So we do need a considerable amount more oil. And down here, I had one there and then four right here. Um, he's researching all kinds of stuff that I don't know what he's researching it for. I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, oh, I can't even move an oil spring right now. What's my cap? 85,000? I can't do it just yet. Shoot. Ah, it's going to be a little annoying. Okay, fine. Be that way then. Can, can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Can't get these three within the radius of it. Well, that's going to help. him over here. Bring you up to there. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, we need we need building materials. Let's jump back up here to our main area. Um, yeah, there we go. There's a ship. Uh, let's just drop all this off. I don't care about any of this stuff. Let's grab some building materials. Grab two loads of that, a load of this, and then some of that. And this is going to go down to our, our whatever. Para whatever. It's going down there. So I can get some more oil from down that, in that area. Okay. Still probably not going to be enough oil, but it, it at least gets us started on it all. We'll see where we're at after we supply all of that. So, what's next? Oh, good lord. Just just running out of everything, essentially. So he does have some Dockland stuff going on. Um, bananas? Okay. He is importing seafood stew, but he's got really... Like, he's... Not what I would do right there, to be honest. Um, and the hibiscus tea. Okay. Why is he importing bananas, though? He has no need for bananas. Why is he importing? I don't even know. But we're just not going to anymore. Because I don't know why he's doing that. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't really have a lot of space. This He's got this island and this island over here, but he's trying to make... He wanted to make all of his islands cities and stuff, but he also wanted to produce a lot of things. A restaurant he paused? He does, uh, he does have tourists. Does he have a restaurant, maybe? You want to dance the dance macabre? No, he doesn't even have restaurants. So I, I don't know why he was doing bananas. So anyways, all right, so we got the oil taken care of. So we need to just kind of look back and see what else is going on. We've got a lot of need for lumber on this island for some reason, although lumber is full, which is 
range. Lumber's full, but we need lumber. Why do we need so much lumber? I have no idea. Sewing machines? If yeah, we need three sewing machine factories. That would probably be why. A stupid number of sawmills. And a completely stupid number of sawmills would be why it's so bad. So, one sawmill. And look, magically, we have enough lumber. <laughs> Voila. Don't need four electrified sawmills. That's a bit stupid. That is literally a bit stupid. All right, so that's taken care of. Good deal. Um, iron. We have enough iron going on. We got coal. We got a zinc. We've got two copper. Now, the iron is going to be a little tricky. What have you done? God. We're underproducing that. Oh, we have a brass smeltery that's not being utilized. Yeah, but I, I'm not trying. I don't really have time to sit around and try to farm specialists and everything else. I'm just trying to fix it with what we have available at the moment. I, I, I you know. Got two furnaces going. Some of us have to live by the sword. This must be what happened right here. Are you finally embracing I must have clicked that. Okay. Oh, he's got two steel works. That's, that's dumb. Don't need two steel works. One is one taken down to 50%. And we'll actually pause that because we're full on steel, so we don't need any more. So now we're making enough with the furnace. We don't need any more furnaces. That's good. Just need to get some more of that going. And you know, honestly, I can actually get some more if we've got a McKella. Which really isn't that useful, but what might be useful, let's see if we have any anything else that he has researched. Yes, he's got a first rate sapper. Definitely want to get that on there. And this is where, yeah, this is where his institute at. He's actually making a Meg Ivor. That's really, really good. That's actually really, really good. Let's assign some more workers to it careful about that so we can electrify this and get some more out of it that gets us up to 13 out of 15 and then if i come over here and i boost this by 50 percent now we're making enough iron good okay so now we have enough iron coming in not going to worry about that anymore the deal uh fish guys this guy is always this guy never has enough fish. You notice that? He, like, never, ever has enough fish. I've never seen someone have so many issues supplying fish. You can't polish it. Everyone. You, what? What are you talking about, Gasparov? Can't polish up everyone? What? What is he even talking about? I don't even know. Um, I'm going to do that, but he's got a lot of excess going on here. Take care of some of this here in a second. I'm not going to worry about the fish. Uh, we have enough fish in storage. Nah, we got a little bit. Not great, though. Whoops, didn't mean to get out of that. All right, underproducing on wool and work clothes. We take a look, he's got four, four framework knitters kind of scattered around here. I'm trying to just think where I, how I can consolidate some of this stuff because he doesn't have a lot of room.
Oh, uh, the bananas. That was the weird thing. All right. So we're going to try to help him consolidate some stuff here. He needs 16 per minute. 480. Say 500. Okay, so there's work clothes. So we're going to actually just take get rid of all the work clothes manufacturing on this island. We're simply going to import all of that. And that helps our sheep farms out considerably. What else is using the wool then? I bet it's the... I bet he has another one of these somewhere, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Can I turn one off for right now? Yes, I can. Okay, I can just turn one off. And we're still producing enough and we're good on the uh, sheep farms for the moment. So I don't have to worry about that. We're importing that. All right, pigs are another thing. And again, pigs is something that I say, just go ahead and import those instead of Im instead of having to produce all your own. So let's get rid of all the pig farms. Try to maybe clean that up a little bit more or something. There we go. That's nicer. We do need a little more sausage. We'll add one more in. He's got room for expansion for another one if he needs it. That should still I should still be fine on how much I'm importing. 21 times 30, 630. How much did I say I imported? 500? No, I haven't imported pigs. Let's import pigs. Oh wait, no, that's not that's not the right one. They're up here. Oh, where are the pigs at? There they are. Alright, so what can I export actually? I could do the fur coats. Fur coats would not be bad. Oh, interesting. I'm producing ponchos from the tailor shop. Ooh, that's a fun idea. What do ponchos export on pigs for? Not enough. <laughs> not enough. That's how much. Definitely not enough. So, uh, no to the ponchos. Producing, he's producing a little bit of chocolate here, but we're going to need chocolate, so I don't want to do that. Could do for coats. Or beer, or bread. He's producing a lot of extra bread and beer. So some of this stuff I don't know, like, how much it exports for. Oh, wow, I'd probably do this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll export his little bit of uh, pocket watches and bring in the pigs. I could, yes, clams, but I'm not, um, I, I'm not, I've already told, and I've told him this as well. I'm not going to sit around and try to sit there and farm specialists all day for him. I'm simply just trying to get it into a working, into a working situation right now. That's all I'm trying to do with it is just, just get it working, essentially. Upgrade some of these guys into workers so I can um, get them to artisans. He's got a bunch of farmers back here, too. He's got way too many farmers. Way too many farmers. Don't need that many. He's, he does have pocket watches turned off. That's good. Alright, let's see. 
are going to need more sausages, so I might as well go ahead and pop, uh, toss another one in. Yeah, we're going to run out of pigs. That's unfortunate. I mean, we're going to we're completely out of sausages right now, and it's going to be a while because he just came around. So yeah, he's got a little while till he comes back, but that's okay. Seven fifty on that. That's fine there. That's fine there. Take a look at this stuff right here in a second. All right, he does need more soap. Something I think I've never heard myself say is I don't have enough soap. Let's get that right here, maybe. It's gonna be enough soap. Now the tallow, we're we are we do have enough tallow though, so that's good. That'll be fine. Get back up here and just kind of keep. I just work my way down. We're underproducing on grain, but we're also underproducing on bread and malt. Don't want to turn off this. He's got four breweries. Turn one off. Got too many breweries going right now. That's still okay. That's fine. So we just need one more malt house. Another malt house, and I believe... Yeah, he's got way too much bread going on. Like, he's just got a ridiculous number of bakeries. Take a bunch of those out. Yeah, that's that's more like it right there. So now we're not underproducing on flour so much. Add another one in. Good now. We're good on malt. So that means I can now fix the grain issue. kind of got himself trapped in a corner because he's trying to do everything on because he only has four islands around here and he just doesn't have the room that he needs so we're going and like he's trying to make like big metropolises on all these islands but produce everything himself and he just can't do that really you know kind of have to have you have to have production islands or import everything with docklands so you have to you can't really do what he's trying to do with it So we're going to come down here and we're going to set up um, grain down here for him as well. We're going to set it up over here near to where this um, fuel station is at. Get a couple of these going. Oh, there's no... I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Can't do it down here. No grain fertility. Crap. Hmm. Actually, think about this. Hold on. I, ha I have a brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. I, ca I can. I can. Fix Hold on a second. Hold up. Something I want to look at. All right, we want botanical garden set. We're paying a visit to I Isabel. Go pay a visit to Isabel. Yeah, he does have the research institute. He does. He has a lot of stuff queued up right now. In the research institute, so and I don't, I don't want to sit there and fool with it, because he doesn't have many engineers, so the time, the uh, research time is a lot, is quite a while right now. But what we can do is get the Andean set for the botanical garden. It's a three-item set. It's very simple, and it adds the grain fertility to an island. So what is what we are going to do? A life dreary for 
Um, you know, I'll take that. Because I, I need to continue working my reputation. Okay. Uh, oh, he will do this for 11,000. Perfect. Perfect. How many of those sets exist, though? What do you mean, how many exist? I don't know what you mean by that. All right. That give fertility? There's there's several. There's several. You just look them up on the wiki. There's quite a few. They a lot. There's there's quite a few that give those things. All right. So they're and they're all blue items. Every time I and I kind of vaguely have an idea of what they look like. Maybe import grain. I'm trying not to do too many imports. I don't want to throw him off with it, with everything being imported. I do want to try to produce things as much as possible. Um, as much as I do, that's uh, Amazon's. As much as I do love the Docklands, a lot of times, I I don't want it to become. I don't want to make it the crutch that it is for a lot of people. And I want to offer various, you know, various alternatives to that. Here's part of the Andean set. So there's two of the three. There's so many, there's a lot of specialists I could be picking up right now, but I, again, I, it's just, it's just something I'm not going to do right now is fix specialists and everything else. You know, he's going to, I have to leave, I have to put some of that on him. I just, I got to get everything in a working state, basically. That's my goal, is to get it all into a working state. There it is. Queen of the Andes. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to take that. We're going to go to Schoongraven. Like a trade unit with a fertility card is cheaper? No, it's not, because it has a very limited space around it. Um, and influence is, influence is whatever. I don't care about influence. Oops. You can only get so many grain farms within the range of a trade union. I can put the Andean set and it takes up the entire island and gives a 25% production bonus. And then I can also use trade unions around them all. So it's a double win. It's a double win for that. All right, and what I'll so that's going to take care of the grain. We'll get the grain coming from that, so that's fine. Uh, hops. He's got three right there. Then he's got a fourth one randomly up here, just really randomly over there for some. Why I don't know. Wonder. Yeah. Oh, he only has the one. Got one right. See, okay. Okay, we're gonna we'll make some small changes to this. Yeah, the first few botanical, the first uh, like ten, maybe something like that. Um, first 20. Yeah. The first 20 in botanical garden modules are free. Because you get 200 for them. Uh, the first 10 zoo, the first 10 museum, and the first 20 botanical garden modules are free. He just really has this in a bad place. Like... Just really has that in a poor spot. And he's trying to fill this island out with way too much. Um, all right, let's make some other changes here. We're not doing furs locally. We're going to import furs. Get rid of all that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this and this. Let's bring him down here. 
There's Angela Meg Iver. That's actually perfect. Get her in there to affect all of these. That's going to help. Yep, all of the scholars are right here on this one island. Okay, so that's going to take care of that. Let's get rid of this and that and that. Oh, and uh, we need this one. Cat Cam being, the, I guess Cat Cam is going to be in the main YouTube video. I forgot Cat Cam was on. Hey, YouTube, you got Cat Cam. Because I forgot all about it being up there. So enjoy Cat Cam. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's move these guys down here. We will also get them electrified. Oh, shoot. Kind of forgot. Forgot to leave myself some space. Need to bring that back a little bit. Here. Bring that to there. Uh, let's move him right there. Now. Get rid of all of this mess. Get rid of all of this. Move you, you, here, down to there. Okay. Go here and go there. Perfect. All right, everybody's hooked up. Lovely. Now I can finish arranging this as it needed to be. Lovely. Okay. So, now we are making enough hops. All of the grain is going to come from the other island. Um, I am not going to do grain on this island anymore. Yeah, he did not claim many islands. Like, he, he only has... He does not have many islands. So there's, like, nothing left. Everything's taken. So there's, like... There is nothing left to claim right now. So he, he kind of got himself into a bad spot. So he, he did not claim very much. And I believe when he was talking to me about it, he said he actually felt like he claimed too much. And then when I looked at it, I'm like, well, you didn't even claim enough. Like, you didn't claim near enough of anything to make a difference. He felt like he had claimed too many islands. Just like... No, he didn't even do near enough. All right, there's another one here. Try to clean some of these up a little bit. Yeah. All right, so that should be all four of those are right there. Good. Um, uh, is he here? Yep, there he is. Drop these off, and let's build a botanical garden. Doesn't really matter where it goes. So let's just put it, like, right over here, maybe. One, two...
Lovely. All right, now we got the gra the grain fertility. So now I can actually start making grain. I'm going to uh, take out his little boulevard. We'll say that this is the end of the city right here because we got to have grain. Gots to have some grain going here. Which grain do I need again? None here. It's all over on the cruise. 21 per minute? That's some level of math. You weren't aware. Let's see how much this is going to make right here. Four. Oh, that ain't right. That, ain't, that don't sound right. No, it is four. Okay. I need six, basically. Yeah, because they're one. Yeah, because it's one per minute normally, and they count as four. So yeah, it's four. Math's hard. Whoops. Okay, it's going to be 10. You know, I'm curious. What all is he using grain for? We've got seven flour mills. Oh, seven. God, I can't count. Four flour mills up here using grain. And then... I wish this right here told you, like, what all is using it. That would actually be really, really useful. If you could see exactly what all is needing it. I could turn one of these off, to be honest with you. Turn another one off? I don't need that much. No, I can't. I could turn one off without the without the without the silo though. Yeah. One without well actually that might be fine once I have this right here working, because these aren't counting the silo at the moment. So I might need less than that. Is it really just these right here that's taking the four? Normally it's two. Well, normally it's two grain farms to a flour mill. So that would be eight grain farms normal. But then that would only need one tractored uh that one of these tractored should supply four of these i only have a couple of these that need it why am i needing so much grain oh the malt houses uh uh malt houses need it and malt houses need two each and i have two of these okay that's where the math is coming in uh, the math was confusing me for a moment. Apologies. Okay, so. Should be two more of these guys right here. Will do it for us. Get you in over here, maybe. Got a couple more of these. Do you reach? Oh, you don't reach you will this look at me building Rick Rhodes okay Rick Rhodes to the rescue the finishing touch? all right let this right here get the oil it needs and then we can double check and it should be enough It's made of bricks. It's a brick road. You hush. 19. Oh, 
We're all full up. Yes, you are. 50%. Two. Good. All right. That's enough. I'll just need a uh, cargo ship to deliver it. I don't care if it's called Brick Road. Oh, or Paved Road. It's made of bricks, so it's a brick road. Uh, these actually all go under this, tra this category here. Okay, so there is all of that taken care of. Good deal. Oh, and he was already over there. Lovely. All right, there's that. The yellow brick road. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Good there. Good there. We're good there. there. Uh, Underproducing on glass, it looks like, actually. We have one glass maker in the city. Do a little rearranging here to try to make things fit a little bit better. Slightly underproducing. Uh, where was that electricity at that I added in? Where did that go? I thought it was like. I thought it was right here. I could have swore I added electricity in right there. Or is that before I had the oopsie? Oh, that was before I had the oopsie and I never added it back in. Rip. Well, let's just add it back in then. There we go. Now he's added back in. There we go. All better now. So once these are electrified, I might even be able to take these down by 50%. Yeah, I don't really want to do that, because he may forget that I did it. Leave it there. Does he have Trelawney? He does, but he hasn't done anything there. Alright, cool. So that's going to take care of that area. We can't shut the storeroom door. Get to this over here in a moment. All right, all electrified up. So this is fine now. Now we are massively underproducing on sand. Of course we are. And boost those things right there up. Gets us to six out of eight. So almost have enough. Maybe do a little uh, redesigning of his harbor areas here to make some room if I can. over here. Oh, I was like, why is it being like that? It's because I'm at the edge. Um, there. Need the keys. Okay, we're good there now. Lovely. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh, I wasn't but talking I to you. Really... Oh. Sorry, my Google thought I was talking to it. <laughs> okay. Furnaces. Furnaces are another thing that you can easily just go ahead and boost the productivity up and not really worry about it. So they're good now. That's all fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll deal with oil in a moment. Oh, and the poor guy's making telephones. Yeah. Making so many telephones. 
I hate telephones. Hate telephones with a passion. Okay. So, telephones, he needs more wood veneers and more filaments. Okay. Let's get those in. Our... Okay, that's good there. And then wood veneers. Here. Got two of these. Where? One there and one there. Okay. Now, my suggestion, especially for like wood veneers, would be to um, get yourself some items that will increase their productivity by a considerable amount instead of trying to uh, produce them like yourself manually like this. Get yourself some items for these. It makes life a lot easier. Okay, we're good on the wood veneers and that now. That will keep him producing the uh, telephones. Personally, I just import telephones. Um, I don't try to produce them, but he's wanting to produce them, so that's fine. We will make that happen. The last thing... Well, not one of the last thing, but we do need to double check now. So we're still good on coal. Uh, we are still way under on timber, though. Which is still odd that we're underproducing timber, yet we're capped out on timber. But yeah, no, we have enough. We have enough. I keep saying timber, but you know what I mean. Wood. We're good there now. Let's upgrade a bunch of these workers and try to lessen the amount of fish that we need. Be a little bit more. Okay. Clean that up, cleans that up. So now the only thing we're underproducing on is uh, sausages. Yeah. That's easily fixed. A couple more of those. And then we're going to come over here and again, double check this guy right here. So he'll be here in five minutes. We're currently importing 750. Is that enough? 27 times 30 is 810. 810. Which only takes it up by one more per minute. So that's fine. So, this'll be fine. That's fine. All good. Wow, is that a cat cam? That is a cat cam. With my pumpkin. What's up, Jamando? How's it going? Right, now that that part's done, we've got we've got everybody over here kind of squared away for the most part. Um, furs, 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 furs. I thought I was importing those. Did I, did I forget to put set furs to import? I forgot to set furs to import. Crap. Let's hurry up and import furs. something he was overproducing on that I could use for that. I gotta fix bombins too. How many furs per minute did I need? 10? Only 10. That's not bad. So th about 300 furs. Who do ponchos go for on those? Oh, not good at all. <laughs> not good at all. That's what they go for. Not good. of those things were uh, was I overproducing on two actually I could do that he's he is making just enough pocket watches that I could supply the furs and the pigs uh from what he is producing so we're going to go with that right there I'm going to do that now 
I'm going to go ahead and tell the guy who's saved this is do not put investors on this island because as Ogre Bane just mentioned, chocolate, chocolate's going to be a decent little export. Do not put investors on this island. You're going to want to use this chocolate for an export. So if we go right here and we take a look, how much gold? We have only have 114. How much gold am I producing per minute? Possibly up to six. Okay. But the reason we don't have any is because our storage is full. So we're going to do one thing. We're going to only do that for this. And we need how much hibiscus tea per minute? Eight per minute. Eight times 30 is 210. We'll say 250. That'll be fine. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's just say three. This and that. Okay. How many of those am I overproducing per minute, actually? And by those, I'm talking about... Um, oh, he's not even overproduced. He's not producing those at all. So he was exporting something that he doesn't even have access to here. But that's not good. He's exporting something he doesn't even have. Bad. Don't do that. Bad. Don't do that. That takes up two and a half. How many of those do I need still? Because I, I can't remember. 14. Like 15. We've got our own economy now. Okay. I can do that. And it still leaves me some room or um, a little room. Uh, was he bringing it from another island? He was. He was bringing it from another island. Um, are we using it over here for anything else? We're not using it for anything. I could do that. It might not be a bad idea. Although I wouldn't do it right now because he's not he he's not making it from anything else right here. Um, he's getting them from the motorist. He only has one motor assembly line, so I wouldn't do that. To be honest, um, since only has the one motor assembly line, because he hasn't even gotten up to build, making steam carriages yet, so he's going to need a lot for that. He's got skyscrapers coming. Uh, actually, does he have skyscraper stuff enabled? Yeah, he's gonna need them for skyscrapers for the uh, for that. I would I wouldn't do it just yet, so I wouldn't use the steam motors for that. Does he need sink a cow? Uh, good question. Yeah, he still does. He's not using the specialist that changes it out, but he does need sink a cow. The cutting edge, like that. Oh, he has canceled our trade agreement already. Yeah. Okay, he didn't like that. Can I have a quest? Delivery quest? You're getting on my nerves, John. 20 tons of weapons. I have no ships available here. Uh, here, give me yet. Oh, wait. Not that, that one. Um, fine, go up here. Somebody that was near. Here we go. Your work. There we go. Yeah, that specialist on, specialist on, honestly is probably the best. Um, I really don't. If, no, no, I feel like trying to get him. Yeah, I mean, he's a legendary and I just I just don't really feel like waiting. I mean, I could queue it up for him because he does have it. He does have it discovered. Is he? Uh, yes, he doesn't have it queued up. He's got a Professor Ram Devi queued up. We'll queue it up for him. All right, we'll queue that guy up. 
So again, gonna queue that up. Definitely replace uh, with the boot makers. Use that specialist and replace the Senga cow with that item. That's going to be a lot more a lot more useful for you. But for right now, we will have to import the Senga cows. So to import those, let us. We add up eight. It's not great. What else was he overproducing on? That I can borrow. He is, okay, he is overproducing on the boots. And so I could do that. I could export boots. Senga cows. How many Senga cows do we need per minute? Probably not many. Only four. 120. I could get away with that. I could get away with that because we're overproducing on the boots by a little bit. By three. So yeah, that's I could get away with doing that. Not a problem. Or I could use the chocolate as well. The chocolate was another one. But I want to see about the chocolate with the seafood. Not good. It's not good. And we need... Doesn't even doesn't even say he has it turned off. He has it turned off. Imagine importing it, but then turning it off. He needs seven per minute and chocolate is actually a worse export for it. And so we're not producing enough chocolate. So I can't I can't do that. Um, I mean, I could like for I could uh, up to part of it. But I couldn't do all of it. Could do chocolate for the uh, cloth, though. He needs 14 per minute. Or 20? 420! 89. It's three. That leaves me two extra. So what I'll do is we'll just do that. So we'll export whatever we need to for the linen, and then it'll export whatever's left over to bring in some seafood. And then for our final trade, we will bring in the last bit of seafood, wherever it's at. It's up here somewhere. And we can export. He doesn't have much. We are overproducing spectacles quite a bit, honestly. Well, we could do spectacles. Those have a... Wow, those have a terrible turnaround as well. Holy crap. Um, don't want to do that. Let's do this. Let's just see what it does. And let's change out spectacles onto... that wait how much was this already i already forgot like 800 what does the spectacles do it's one to eight and that's a one to two i delete a spectacle factory but what but that doesn't really matter because those have even less of an export ratio and uh, I don't. I don't think that would work. I'd rather have something that has a better export ratio. Hmm. Say five per minute is what I'm. Uh, what I'm allowing myself. We'll be here in seven minutes. I got seven minutes to figure this out. He's ten hundred. Not going to be enough. For, oh, crap. Sorry. Hold on. Y'all didn't tell me that I my stream was glitch, was going weird. I hit record again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, wait. He is doing the ponchos, too. 
And we don't need the ponchos. We're making eight ponchos per minute. We'll, we'll just divide this all kinds of up. All right, so we're going to do... No, not for that. We're going to do... Ponchos... Oh, God, no. not That's terrible. Um... do that. Let's do that. Let's do... Oh my god, where are they? This was like 300. And then we'll tell this right here, 300. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, it was because... Hold on a second. Weird. Okay, I am fluctuating a little bit. Hold on a second. Okay, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to uh, end the stream. Um, my bit rate has fallen through the floor for some reason. And yeah, we're having major technical issues, it looks like, with our stream right now. Uh, so unfortunately, YouTube guys, thank you for watching. I, I, I Sorry, I've got to cut this a little short. We're having some technical issues over on, on Twitch. Uh, but we're going to come back in the next one and we will finish up working on this island and getting it squared away and make sure all of our uh, Docklands trades are square are fixed and working correctly. And we will continue from there and we will hit up the New World and Imbessa and get those done. And then this save will be saved. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. All right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on uh, with the uh, with the stream right now, but I'm going to. I hate to can I hate to cut it short because we're doing pretty good right now, but I need to cut it short and go do a little uh, technical work, maybe reset my router, do some other stuff, figure out what's going on. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's see if there's anyone on real quick that I can send you guys over to. So don't run away just yet. Let's see if there's anyone here that I can I can send you guys to. Yeah, we're gonna go, let's go. Uh, Darren is over there playing uh, Age of Empires. So let's go hit, hit up Darren. I have, a, I have an ad going. <laughs> I have an ad going for Darren's channel. All right, guys. I will see you later. Take care.